Hi, this video is going to show you how to use GCal Toolkit with Google Calendars. So the first thing I'm going to do is log in by typing my username and password and I'm going to click download and edit a Google Calendar. So this will show me a list of my calendars. As you can see I've only got one here so I can select that. In the full version you can choose all events and in the trial version you're limited to six months previously. Uh, and in the future. So I'm going to click all events here and download events. Now this will download my calendar and as you can see here I've got a list of all the events. Uh, there's only 29, this isn't a huge calendar, this is just for testing purposes. As you can see I've got two duplicates that have shown up here in red. You can scroll down here and see the list of events. So we have the title, the summary, start time and end time that you can't change here in this program repeat you can't change either location you can edit delete and the status of the event so if I click preview changes this will show me everything that's going to be changed when I sync to Google and if I click that again that will show all my events so say for instance let's start off with the filters here so um, let's apply a text filter I'm going to look for all events with the word Eric apply filters and here I have a list of events with the word Eric in. So you can of course move these if you need to see a little more. Um, I can maybe just delete all the events with Eric in so I can click delete all visible events and then I can remove the filter. Now this will leave the events that I selected for deletion so I've now effectively chosen all the events with the word Eric in to delete. Uh, maybe I want to change my mind, so I'll delete no visible events. Now this has also removed the duplicates. As you can see, we have the duplicates here that are still to be deleted. I could actually reselect them, delete all duplicates if by mistake I'd deselected them. Um, I'm going to now do a quick search replace. Again, this is only available in the full version. So let's replace um, Eric with Eric and Andre, for instance. And there we go. Now again, this only works in the visible events, so I could have applied a filter first. And as you can see, that this has now edited these events and added Pick Up Eric and Andre instead of Pick Up Eric. Uh, let's do a sync. So here I can say I've got two events to be deleted. Now that is updated when I cre uh, press Preview Changes. And here you can see now we have two to be deleted and four to be edited. So let's sync that to Google. And as you can see, if I go back to my Google Calendar and refresh that, here we have Gig with Eric. If I refresh that, Gig with Eric and Andre. And my duplicates have disappeared. These two are duplicates. Now, if I want to undo any changes, I can delete no visible events. So that will restore the two, du the two duplicates that I had here. And I can also even undo visible text edits. So that will set them back. Let's preview the changes again. Two to be restored, four to be re-edited with the original text. Sync to Google. And here we can see, back in the calendar, Gig with Eric and my duplicates are back. So you can undo almost everything that you do with GCal Toolkit. Now it's a very powerful tool, so please back up your Google Calendar if you're not entirely comfortable with the software. Um, here we have also delete all visible events to delete everything. Delete no visible events. Again, that applies with filters, either the date filter or the text filters. Uh, I could, for instance, list all the events where I have pay and I could delete them all. There we go. Preview changes. That shows me that I've got one duplicate and three deletes. Total of four events to be deleted. Let's delete them all. And there we go. So, thank you for watching this. www.gcaltoolkit.com mass edits, mass deletes and duplicate removal from Google Calendars and any other calendar system that you can sync with Google Calendars. Thank you for watching.